friends, we have gathered here to praise God, to bear witness to our faith as we celebrate the life of Nancy Johnson. We come together in grief, acknowledging our, acknowledging our human laws. May God search our hearts that in pain we may find comfort, in sorrow, hope, and in resurrection, and in death, resurrection. And I'd like to invite you now to please join, let's join in in singing hymn 526. It's in our blue hymnal in the pew in front of you. 526. Times like this are when we remind ourselves of the, what the Bible, our gospel teaches us, especially regarding what Jesus says about moments like this to remind us of who he is. Jesus said in John chapter 11, 25 through 26, the following. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me even though they die, we live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Now please again join me in singing our next hymn, 724 in our hymnal, on Jordan's stormy banks I stand.
A scripture reading, an Old Testament reading for this moment is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. And if you wish to follow in our Pew Bible, you may please turn to page 614 of our Pew Bible. 614, if you wish to follow along. And it goes like this. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. Again, please join me in singing our next hymn, 261, Lord of the Dance. 261. At this time, I'd like to please invite you to stand with me and join me in praying the Lord's Prayer in unison. And if you are not unsure about it, please look into our hymnal, the United Methodist Hymnal, which is in the pew in front of you. Page 271 is where you will find that. And if you have the bulletin, please join me in reading it. Let's join in in reading it together. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please be seated. So if you are a United Methodist Church person and you go to church or you belong to that any congregation, you would know that we all have committees in our churches, several committees that do the ministry of the work of the church. 
In our church, one of such committees is the Outreach Committee. Nancy was a member of that committee. So occasionally, oftentimes, we'll be sitting at an me at outreach meeting and a conversation and having a conversation about some program or an e a conversation breaks up about event, an event or a program that we would like to have. I am the chair of that committee, so oftentimes the best person to look up to would be Nancy. So I look at her, and then uh, she would look back at me, wiggling her nose, <laughs> and opening her eyes wide, what, looking at me as if to say, don't ask me to do anything. <laughs> but she winds up doing, doing, doing it anyways. That's who Nancy is. She is dedicated to her church's ministries, especially our outreach ministries. I cannot list all the activities that Nancy has, have, had had planned in this church, but there is this one that stands out to me. A year or so ago, we, were deci we decided we were going to participate in Zion, in the city of Zion's Halloween event. We would set up a table, a stand, and pass out candies as the children passed by. It was a rainy, cold day on that day. Nancy was the only one there on that rainy, cold day. She was unhappy about that with us, for none of us showing up to help. But she kept her cool. That's her dedication. In my, that's dedication in my book. Last Sunday, last Sunday, she was in church, man in the audio, uh, audiovisual thing, thing at, the, at the back, the system at the back. Monday comes, and just like that, Nancy's gone. Monday comes, and just like that, Nancy is gone. She's gone to be with her creator, God, in my book, that is. given the preference or the choice of whether or not we have Nancy here today or going to heaven, I'm sure we would all like her to be with us here today. She's a great daughter, a great sister, sister-in-law, and and a friend to many, many of you that are gathered here this morning. Now, the proof of what I am saying is in, the, is in all of us here. We have all gathered here. We are all here because of what Nancy, who Nancy, what Nancy means to us. That's a testament to the person that, whose life we are celebrating this day. Nancy is God's gift to many, many, many of us. But this also, this also we know much about life. Life as we know it always has an end. And like the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, which I just read moments ago, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. The end came for Nancy, and she traveled back home to be with her creator.
What the scripture says is true. Life has an end. What that means is that for Nancy, when the time came for her to go home, she left. It was sudden, sad, disappointing for some of us. But she's gone. She's going to be with our God, her creator, our father in heaven. Now she's in heaven. As a preacher, I take literally what Jesus says in chapter four, John chapter 14. Jesus said that he will come and take us to where he is. As a believer, that is the assurance from God that I take wholeheartedly. God has done what God has said he's going to do. Not because we have, and Nancy has not earned her place in God's kingdom. God has granted Nancy a place because the God that I serve, you serve, you know, is a gracious, kind, and compassionate God. But certainly, Nancy has left us alone, many of us alone, especially you, the family members. But she also has gifted you with great fun and grand memories when she was here with you. Those memories are, are yours, ours, those of us who knew him, and those of you, the family members that worked, knew, knew him better than any of us, those are the memories that for you to cherish. I am confident that Nancy will be in our hearts for a long, long time, perhaps forever. And I'm also confident that we at Memorial have lost one of our great members. We will miss her very, very much. Speaking, I, spoke, I speak selfishly, of course. As I often, I often have said that at services like today's, we all, and the family in particular, are going to come, there's going to come a time, if it's not, if not, it's already begun, when you miss her so much, you wish you could touch her. We know that that is not possible. But there are better ways we can touch Nancy and that she can touch us too. We smile about the times, good times that we've had. And I'm sure if Nancy were here, she would say she's not perfect. So we smile also about her imperfections. Lilia, James, John, and all the Johnson kids. And the Nancy shortcakes is what she calls them, right? May God, may God continue to give you the strength to live through these difficult times and to all of us as members of this congregation. The God grant us the strength to live through these difficult times and beyond. At this moment, I am sure, I am certain that Nancy is standing at heaven's gate and saying to you, all of us, to all of you all, thanks, friends and family, for celebrating the, my life the way you have done it today. She's also confident, confident that the good Lord who has invited her home, we stand by us, all of us, through the days of our life on this side of heaven. I am particularly grateful as a pastor of this church memorial.
for having you all celebrate this moment with us. Thanks very much. We will continue to pray for all and ask for God's strength for us and everyone, all of us. So at this time, I will pause and invite those who have some memories of Nancy that they'd like to share to do so. Please stand or raise your hand at, in your seat, and we, will bring, we shall bring a microphone to you. So if you have some memories that you'd like to share, please raise your hands. Behind you, Ray. Like everybody else here, I witnessed these great and lovely servant acts that Nancy did. She truly was and had a servant's heart, a beautiful heart. Um, on the lighter side, I want to say a couple of things. You saw pictures up here about uh, the bowling tournaments. And just about two or three weeks ago, Nancy was telling us how she took second place in the singles event of the tournament that she was just at, like two months ago. So a very um, great thing for Nancy. And it was one thing that she and I had in common. And the other thing, besides our friendship here at church and the bowling, was that we both loved Tootsie Rolls. And she used to bring me Tootsie Rolls on my birthday. So um, you'll notice a bowl of Tootsie Rolls downstairs on the dessert table. So God bless and uh, grant Nancy peace. Is there anyone else? Uh, Nancy, excuse me. Nancy and her parents lived down the street just from our, my wife and our home. And uh, over the years, when they first moved in, you'd see Nancy's father walking the dog. And the time that I'd be working in the yard and we'd talk and greet each other, and then after he passed, his wife uh, started doing the walking of the dog. But it was the constant yearly sequence of events that brought our families together that we were able to share. And I love that time. Thank you. So when you talk in the mic, if you point it at your mouth, it works best. My first year in Waukegan, uh, when I was doing my student teaching, I was in charge of five kids in our behavior program. And it was time for us to go to our specials. <clears throat> and these five boys were all over the building. <laughs> and I was like, ah. And I looked over and I saw Nancy had about 25 kids all in line. And I looked at her in awe and I said, okay, she's got it together. I wanna be like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's my fondest memory. I didn't get to hear too many stories from Nancy, but she was a good storyteller. And I remember this one from last year. Uh, after she retired from her long career of teaching, she still went back and substituted. And one time last year, she got a classroom of kindergartners, which after teaching fifth graders for a long time was probably a bit of a challenge for her. And you know, one of them was crying, and one of them had to go to the bathroom, and she was just kind of at her wit's end with them. But um, she kept it together, and she started singing camp songs with them. And uh, they loved her, and they wanted her to come back. And that she told the people at the, whoever calls her for substituting, never again. If anyone remembers Nancy, you remember that she loved the kids so much. Um, 
she accepted us at this church with no regrets. Like, she just never judged, and she was always so sweet to the kids. I can't remember a time that she wouldn't say, hey, shortcakes, how are you guys doing? Hey, shortcake, get over here. <laughs> hey, shortcake, don't do that. <laughs> So she was just always a positive person with the most beautiful smile and just very giving and forthcoming with everything. And I just wanted to just tell her family that I have my condolences. And we love her so much here at UMC. I was fortunate to know Nancy both as a friend and a, a teacher for my two sons at Greenwood. I played volleyball with her and she was quite the athlete in her own mind. But my big thing with Nancy is she had my oldest son came through Greenwood and then it came time for my youngest son and he wasn't in line to transfer from fourth grade to fifth grade with that class, so I went to the principal and I said, I want him switched over to Nancy's class for fifth grade. And she says, well, he'd be separated from all his friends if he goes to the other class. And my simple explanation was, is you can always make more friends in school, but you'd only have one opportunity to have a God sent teacher like her. And my sons are both in their 30s now, and they still talk about her. I talked to my youngest son and on the phone the other day after we learned, and it was just an hour-long conversation of just memories of her through kindergarten through fifth grade with the kids. And then she's one of those teachers that I'm sure everybody in this room forgets all of their teachers, but you will never, ever forget Nancy and her thoughts of wisdom and uh, just remembering that you had such a wonderful teacher. I think there's one up here. As Nancy's bowling leader and doubles partner, I can't begin to tell you the fun that we've had on our tournaments. We played cards, and she always had a school story to tell the girls, and that just broke us into laughter, and then we couldn't even play the cards. <laughs> but uh, we've really enjoyed Nancy and our bowling, bowling tournaments, and I can't believe how much we're going to miss her. Hi, I met Nancy so long ago, I can't even remember, and I knew her as JC. It took me like five years to even know what her name was because she was JC. She was, who was JC? I learned that that meant Johnson chick that uh, was given to her. I don't, maybe some of you don't even know that that meant Johnson chick. Um, if so... Um, but we did so many things, so many vacations together, playing volleyball together. And she was such a kind heart. Um, she took care of my animals for me, all of them. Um, and right now, um, Lelia took care of um, her mom, uh, took care of my latest uh, animal, Finley. And uh, one of my favorite ones is uh, early on, Nancy came over to my house when I was going out of town for business, and she stayed at my house. And I had this incredibly nasty cat, okay? Some, that you, if you're an animal lover, you had to have this cat. So this cat, Nancy would sit on the couch, and the cat would sit there and just smack her in the head um, the, the whole time she was there. So I got home from my trip, and she's like, I don't know about that cat. I don't know if I can do this again. And so sure enough, next time I'm out of town, J JC, do you think you could come over and uh, take care of the animals for me? And she's like, oh, okay. So she immediately forgot anything that was bad and, and 
uh, took care of my animals again. She was just great. So I have one. Um, when I found out that Nancy liked to go to Las Vegas, and I found out she was staying at the same place that we stayed at, I told her about a local casino. And she, they had, they still do, but beautiful prime rib and beans. It was an excellent place to go. And, and Nancy turned out to be one of her favorite places too. JC and I had so much in common, and as everybody keeps talking here, it's all the same. We love to travel. We're teachers. Uh, we get our girls' night together. We play Mexican train. And then our favorite thing to eat, not Tootsie Rolls, but it's spice drops. So we use spice drops, and I forgot to bring some spice drops today. Sorry. Um, she was my source of things in teaching, because she's like three years older or whatever. So if I was going to retire, JC, what are the things I need to do? And she would tell me. I, same thing with Ruth. I did not know her name was Nancy for the longest time. The volleyball world, I look around and I see a lot of volleyball people here. We all just call her JC. If I would call the house and ask to speak to JC, her mom would go, who? <laughs> and then I'd have to say, oh, Nancy, can I speak to Nancy? So, Nancy, we miss you so much, and thank you for all you did for us. Hello. In 85, I met Jan um, Nancy at um, Nautilus, and we worked out for a couple, three years there, and then one day in 87, she asked me if I was interested in playing volleyball, which I was like, what? Vo no, I, but it was something competitive. So she took me to her school at Lions, and uh, her girls' team uh, put on a clinic, having me diving for balls all over the floor. <laughs> and one girl really took advantage of me because I was learning how to play and hitting the ceiling when I flexed with the and I looked at that lady and she wanted to help me up and I look and she came over and pointed at me and goes ah 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 let her help you up <laughs> and be a good sport and as the years went on there our construction company was working at Lyons and we were there early in the morning but school had started and the bell rang and I'm on the end of the hall down there and I told the guys I'm gonna go down the hall and see this lady I know well, I heard her tell the kids, it's the bell rang, it's time to sit down and be quiet. So I looked into the door and I saw it and one of the kids started laughing and she looked at me and said, hey you, you're supposed to be down the hall working. What are you doing over here? Get back to work. <laughs> and I went down the hall like, oh my God, I don't want to be a kid like this anymore. Holy <laughs> cow. I mean, uh, she, and like the one lady was saying, I didn't know her name was Nancy Johnson, I knew her as JC, and her father did the same thing to me, like, there's no JC here, I'm sorry, sir, I called, what, 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 what? and then that's when I found out her name was Nancy Johnson, so, yeah, for a long time, I was the same way, I, the Johnson chick came along after so many years, and when her father was here, so, that's one of the best memories, many, I'm sorry. We have one tribute that poured in over the chat as the show's going on. Sorry, the broadcast. 
This person's name is Z-A-E. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but Romeo. Zay? Okay, thank you. My favorite memory was when I used to sit by the window every single time Grandma and Nancy came to visit. And as soon as I would see their car, I would run downstairs yelling, Nancy is here. It was always so exciting when they would show up around Christmas and Easter and the Al's giving and all of our birthdays. She sent a card every single year without fail. When they would visit, they would teach us card game after card game. I always wanted to play games with her because it was so fun. We always wanted to play cards and board games with her. Oh, one more here. No, that was it. I was granted permission to read that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we've heard a lot about Nancy's funny side and her fun side, which is great. I know her through church, and I've heard about the uh, bowling and the volleyball a great deal, but I've had the honor to work on many committees with Nancy, and she has been a big, big asset to our church, and we are so thankful for that, and we are going to miss her greatly. Um, but uh, uh, we have enjoyed Lilia and any of the other family that has visited us over numerous times, and we enjoyed her father when he was alive and a member of this church. So the whole Johnson family has brought a lot of joy and a lot of, of um, good things to our Memorial United Methodist Church, and I just wanted to say that to all of you. Thank you. Yeah, entertain the last one. There is one. Okay. Okay, I'm not a member of this church, and I didn't know Nancy very much or, or very long, but I belong to an organization called Church Women United. It's an international organization, and we have members from different churches uh, to participate. And one of our members was from here, and this is Evelyn was, uh, or is. And uh, we were going to have a program here, and the pastor graciously said, yes, we could have the program here. But uh, I didn't know anything about, you know, the music or setting up anything or, or uh, getting things together the way it should. And I actually asked Nancy, and she was most gracious in helping me. As a matter of fact, she told me, call at our house anytime if I needed help. And she would come in special if I needed help to put the program on. And I think this uh, says a lot for her, not knowing me from anyone else, that she agreed to do this. This one up. I'll try to get through this without breaking up at all. Um, when it comes to us Johnsons, Nancy was one of the best of us. She always challenged us with conversation. She always made us feel big and she gave us inspiration to do good. And I love that there's so many stories from so many people that aren't in our family about how much of a wonderful person she was. Thank you, Nancy. We'll love you and we'll miss you. May I have to turn a second last? Hi, I'm Kylie. Um, JC, I only knew her as JC. I actually didn't know what it stood for until the car ride over here today. But she was one of my mom's best friends. And that whole friend group that they have, I consider to be an aunt to me. Sorry. And I've been one of her shortcakes from the very start of my life. 
the one I was growing up, I told her, I'm almost as tall as you now. I might have to be a tall cake soon. <laughs> but she still had that height on me until the end. And she, I just started teaching aerobics. I have 36 students in my class. Um, I'm doing that to pay for a grad school. And she was so excited for me, and she knew that I'd be able to take command of a room and bring that positive energy into a room because growing up, that's what she taught me to do. Both her and my mom were just the most outgoing, loud, and fun people I knew. And so it's thanks to her that I'm as good of a teacher as I am. Good morning, everyone. I'm just so happy to be here today. Uh, it's just amazing how much JC blessed everybody's lives here, and I can see how happy everybody was to have been part of her life also. Um, I played volleyball with her and around her for many, many years. I see so many people here from volleyball. It just brings back so many incredible memories. Um, I just wanted to point out, I mean, I haven't heard it today, but just think about when you walked into a room and saw JC and that incredible smile that she had. And it was just amazing you'd be drawn to her just because you wanted to be around such joy and happiness. And then, needless to say, should I remind everybody of her laugh? I mean, she could be on the other side of the room laughing and you'd be like, Oh, yeah, JC's here. So I, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming here, and, and I, I just want God to reach down and touch everybody's heart right now and just remind them if, they, if they're too shy to speak up and, and say anything. But just remember that moment that JC touched your hearts and, and how many times she was part of your lives and things that you did and things that you accomplished, and things you were proud to tell her. Thank you. On that note, may I please invite you to please stand for the, uh, the next hymn. It's 378, and it's in our blue hymnal in the pew. And if you can please grab that, we sing verses 1, 3, and 5. Verses 1, 3, and 5 of the 378 hymn.
Please join me in reading the 23rd Psalm in your bulletin. 23rd Psalm. Let's all join in in reading it together. The Lord is my shepherd. While we remain standing for our benediction, the family would like to invite you immediately following the service that there is a celebration downstairs in the fellowship hall. And if you are not sure of how to get there, you go right out from here. I'm bad at directions, so if you get lost, don't blame me. But <laughs> you go right here, and then as you near the entryway, there's an entrance. You go left, and then another right, and then downstairs. Now, if I've confused you, somebody will be standing out there to give you directions. How is that? But please join us for the celebration and downstairs, and the family would love to hear you come and say hi to them also. So let's bow down our heads for the benediction, please. Now, to him who is able to keep you from falling, and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now, and forever. And let God's people say amen. amen. Thanks for joining us. God bless you. You are with it. Thank you. Good to see you. See you. Lydia, God bless you. I'll be with you.